Welcome to White Lecture Online. It is always good if we know how to detect or how to determine if we're dealing with a prime number or not. And by and large, it's fairly easy to figure out what the smaller prime numbers are, but it's a little bit more difficult to figure out the larger prime numbers. But let's take a look and see because we have some good techniques that help us at least get through most of it. First of all, we have to realize that all prime numbers are odd numbers. In other words, if a number is divisible by 2, in other words, if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then we know that it's not possible for it to be a prime number. Then we can also quickly check to see if it's divisible by 3, by 5, and or by 10. The rule for divisibility by 3 is that we can sum up all the digits of the number, and if that sum is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3, and then of course it's not a prime number. For example, the number 762, if we add the three digits together, we get 15. Again, if we add the 1 plus the 5 together, we get 6. And 6 is obviously divisible by 3, which means 762 is divisible by 3, and therefore it's not a prime number. So very quickly, we can eliminate most of the numbers by checking for divisibility by 2 and for divisibility by 3. Giving a a little bit more of an edge, we can also check for divisibility by 5, because if the number ends in a 5 or a 0, example 35, then it's divisible by 5 and it's also not a prime number. Or if a number ends in 0, that's quickly seen or checked, then we know it's also not a prime number, like the number 2100. So now you realize that you can eliminate many numbers very quickly by checking those things first. Then, it's also a good idea to have memorized some of the prime numbers, maybe all the way up to 100. I know that might seem like a big task, but after a while, you kind of see the pattern. We already know that 2, 3, 5, and 7 are prime numbers, so is 11 and 13 and 17 and 19. So, those are the prime numbers between 1 and 20. Then, if we continue on, we have 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, and 49. Then we have 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 91, and 97. Do you see the pattern? Well, obviously none of them are even. None of them can be divided by 3, and none of them end in a 5. So if it's not even, doesn't end in a 5 or a 0, and it cannot be divided by 3, then you suspect it might be a prime number. But other things that you should also do when you have a number is to see if it's divisible by 7, by 11, by 13, by 17, which are the smaller prime numbers. Hmm, for example, the number 51. Well, we know 51 is divisible by 3, so that would be an easy check because we can see that 5 plus 1 equals 6. But also, we can see that 51 is divisible by 17, which is a prime number, and therefore 51 cannot be a prime number itself. So realize that very quickly we can eliminate most numbers to see if it's a prime number or not, and then we can see by checking some additional checks by going up the scale a little bit on the prime numbers to see if it's divisible by one of those or not to determine if it's a prime number or not. Anyway, we'll show you some examples of that to make it easier to determine if it's a prime number or if it's not. And that is how it's done.